everyone. My apologies for my previous video. Apparently none of my audio recorded, which is odd because it showed that it was recording, but apparently it didn't. Anyways, I am once again trying to get on to GTA Online. I'm to the point now where basically all I do is get on, spin the lucky wheel, get my visitor boner, and uh, go to my club to see if there's any money to pick up, and that's it because GTA is pretty much worn out its welcome with me uh, just to the point I don't really play this game anymore other than like I said to jump online and do those three things and when I tried earlier it decided to tell me oh the Rockstar servers are currently unavailable and it's like I'm really to the point I have had it with Rockstar shit and it's like, I pay out not only for the Xbox Pass, the Game Pass, whatever the fuck it's called, but I also pay out an additional fee with Amazon to GTA, where I get bonuses and, you know, money, diff different things. And it's like, why should I pay out extra money for that, which you know damn good and well GTA, or I should say Take-Two Interactive is getting a cut of, and I can't use it. I think it's time that we gamers start banding together and we hold not only Take-Two Interactive, but Activision and every other goddamn video game company accountable for the shit that they pull, whether we can't get online if they have an online feature or we can't um, you know use anything or we just have a shit ass experience you know it used to be that they listened to the fans they gave a shit about the fans and I found out that you know after the whole fiasco with Activision and Infinity Ward that they don't give a fuck about nobody but their pockets being lined and that's it and yet you still got these idiots to this day that are like oh call of duty oh jerking off on themselves for that bullshit because they're too stupid to realize it ain't about you it's all about that money and that's why they keep coming out with shit like you know dlc and guns and weapons and all this bullshit packages and things like that because they know people are stupid enough to pay out for them all right, so let's go spin this wheel. Oh, see, we got another new car already. All right, let's spin this bitch. And yes, as you can see, I am rocking patriotic colors. Because of the 4th of July, Independence Day, I swear to God, if you give me a piece of clothing, I'm going to punch this fucking TV. Alright, so let's get that. Trade that crap in. And seeing as how I actually have money at my club, I'm going to go ahead and jump in the limo. We're going to head on over to Del Perro Pier. Dude, you ain't doing nothing. Don't act like you're fucking busy. <sighs> but no, as I was saying, I think it's time, you know, people will bitch about everything but won't do a goddamn thing to stand up for themselves and change things. So, let's start holding... Take Two Interactive, Rockstar Games, every freaking video game company accountable for their bullshit. All right. So I'm just going to run, run, run to the club. 
and hopefully nobody's gonna be a fucking dick and try to kill me. So, yeah. Like I said, all I do with GTA anymore is get online and do this, and then I piss off. Because there's really no point in doing anything. And speaking of GTA, I see there's a bunch of bullshit going around that, you know, fuck off. That, uh, GTA 6 is supposed to be coming out 2024, 2025. I think that's a bunch of bullshit because there's no way in hell that Take Two Interactive nor Rockstar is going to be able to keep the fans content for another, what, three, four years? Oh my god, Lester, why don't you go fuck yourself? Alright, before I go there, I say, you come this way, I'm gonna blow the shit out of you. That's what she said. I don't even know if that shit even got close to hitting them. Didn't really care. But yeah, like I said, there's no way they're going to keep the fans content and complacent for that long. I mean, they'd have to come out with shit at least... I'm going to say at least every six months. Because a year isn't going to cut it either. Coming out with some kind of update once a year and supposedly the map's gonna be interactive and is actually going to evolve which I have been saying since fucking Vice City that it would be nice if you know things would continue on timeline wise not just sit in a state of going nowhere. Like with GTA 5 story mode and, you know, the construction where how many years has it been? And it's still the same shit. And of course we already know that it's going to be back in Vice City. So, it's just funny how, you know, shit people like me I've been saying for umpteen years that people are just now, oh, yeah, they're going to do that. Yeah, yeah. So, we'll see what happens. I still say 2023 for GTA 6 because, yeah, there's no way in hell they're keeping us content and in check for another three, four years. It's, it's not going to happen. And... As far as, like, them having to come out with shit every six months, I'm not talking about this fucking, pardon my language, queer-ass, faggoty shit of fucking, oh, well, we're going to come out with some new bike races or some new stunt races. No, and I'm not talking about bullshit like the Cayo Perico heist, which, that was nothing but bullshit. I'm talking they're going to have to come out with basically an entire new game within the game. You know, featuring Trevor, Franklin, and Michael. New storylines, new missions, and that's the only way they're going to keep us content. Otherwise, they can go fuck themselves. So, yeah, like I said, I'm tired of their shit. That's how I feel about it, and that's that. So thanks for checking out this video. Until the next time, make sure you guys take care of yourselves as well as each other.